So we're back to Danganronpa again, are we? Well, let's get started then. Brace yourself. I don't think anyone expected what is essentially a visual novel series to take off like it did, but even with the supposed weakness of its field, Danganronpa really had something to prove. It pushed the visual novel genre, showing that exceptional writing, a suffocating setting, and constantly shifting character dynamics can make even the most passive of experiences into something fulfilling and agent. If anything, Danganronpa subverts so many cliches about a genre that I still find it bizarre when folks write this series off. I've already gone over why the original game is so interesting when it comes to presenting both story and game design, so going into the newest game in the series was exciting, but familiar to me. I don't think anyone expected the series to take many risks when it comes to its mechanics, but Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony does just that. It uses its themes as a foundation to make its familiar trials into the tensest and most engaging the series has delivered yet. It wants the player to question their own actions. Picking up after the events of Danganronpa 1 and 2, along with the Danganronpa 3 anime, Killing Harmony follows another group of students who find themselves trapped in a killing game, run by the sadistic creature Monokuma. It's up to the group to survive and reveal the secret of their imprisonment. When a murder occurs, you must investigate the scene, find the blackened culprit during a trial, etc, etc. It's familiar, and to some, that might be a turnoff. Killing Harmony isn't that different from past installments, though that's kind of been a tradition for the series for years now. To a longtime fan, it's par for the course, and even someone with just rudimentary knowledge of the series won't find the initial moments to be anything unexpected. But Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony doesn't rest on these laurels. While much of its structure and setting is familiar, it's a game that goes out of its way to push its core themes, truth and lies. It blurs the moral line that truths and lies establish and ultimately encourages the player to cross that line repeatedly. In the most calculated of ways, Killing Harmony guides the player toward the truth, but that path is littered with deviation, and that major push is heightened as the game introduces one new mechanic to the trials, perjury. In past Danganronpa games, lying in a trial is something to be avoided at all costs. It was about navigating a web of lies to discover a single truth, a truth that's concealed by the guilty party. In a perfect situation, this makes a lot of sense, Perjury is a serious offense in courtroom trials, which makes V3's direction all the more disrupting. The act of lying in court is something looked down upon, both in gaming and in real life, but in Killing Harmony, it's a major mechanic that definitely reshapes the player's perspective of what is right and what is wrong. Normally, the player would fire their truth bullets to counter a statement with particular evidence, but with perjury, the player uses that same evidence as a falsehood, essentially lying against another person's claim. On paper, this sounds simple enough, and aside from its obvious sense of deviance, there's nothing too mind-blowing about it. But there's something that makes perjury more interesting, one that really challenges the early perception of the player and their character. You can choose to lie. A game that opens the door to multiple types of behavior is tricky to nail down. Giving the player breadth of choice is an appealing prospect, one that has made games like The Witcher, Infamous, and even Shin Megami Tensei Persona into open-ended experiences. Choice is valuable to the gaming community as it lets them approach challenges with different mindsets and play in a way that they find most interesting. It's a sense of freedom that gives players agency, where they feel that their experience is personalized to them and no one else. Even when your choices might not matter in the grandest scheme of things, being able to watch a story unfold in a way preferable to the player's actions is appealing. Yes, it's an illusion, but it's a captivating illusion. In the case of Danganronpa V3, the player is often given a choice during a non-stop debate, where they can either use a truth bullet to tell the truth, or invert a truth bullet to tell a lie. The result is an alternate stepping stone, where the player's mindset guides the path. Will you tell the truth, or will you tell a lie? and what are the events that will result from that choice. But the themes of truths and lies are omnipresent in Danganronpa V3's story. 
The entire point is to discover the actual nature of the killing game, a rush to find the truth and drag it out into the light. But the theme's constant presence is an advantage that other games don't normally attain. A game that makes both truth and lies into viable directions is one that wants the player to break their own personal tradition and try out a method that would be outright traitorous in any other situation. In fact, this was totally the case. Sometimes I couldn't find the primary solution to the non-stop debates, so I threw caution to the wind and tried out lying instead, only to succeed. Lying was a solution, one that was just as reliable as being honest, and that sets a very, very important precedent. Killing Harmony's perjury requires a different mindset to initiate. You need to understand that the evidence you hold can be manipulated, and with it, the people you're interacting with. My experiences in Danganronpa V3 made it all the more difficult to know what is the truth and what is a lie. But even as I progressed in the story, the mindset I held when diving into a trial's back route never went away. Soon I became suspicious of other characters, those who could see through my own lies. These characters became untrustworthy to me, and I quickly found out that this was the game's intention. I was supposed to feel detected. I was supposed to feel like I didn't get away with it. And in an environment with so much unstable ground, this was a big deal. Danganronpa V3's world felt even more claustrophobic and hostile than any of the environments in past Danganronpa games, because I knew that there were characters in the cast who were out to impede, or at the very least, detect my act of dishonesty. I never felt like I got away with a lie in this game, even when I did, and that paranoia is exactly where the game wanted me to be. I was in the same boat as everyone else. I was trying to get away with a crime. And this feeds into Danganronpa's character dynamics once again. The series has always done a great job at that. It's something that made me adore their casts and always want to see what they would do next. A cast with so much malleability is one that could easily fit into a treacherous state like this. But with truth and lies as a theme, it makes perfect sense that I'd eventually butt heads with someone who could easily see through a lie. The character dynamics that gave Danganronpa all of its appeal ended up being my greatest source of anxiety in Killing Harmony. Danganronpa V3 is that shock to the system that the series was steadily reaching. Unlike the paranoia that the first two games introduced, Killing Harmony aims to cultivate a new kind of suspicion, where the stress of knowing if your lie was unnoticed feeds into a climate of distrust. That's where it all comes together. Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony wants the player to feel deceptive, and with that, inherit all of the suspicion that they were giving the characters so many times before. The Danganronpa series always elevated itself with a self-contained setting and dynamic cast, it's made its entire design one of isolation, but also unity between the harrowing story and the riveting courtroom gameplay. But Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony doesn't settle for just that. Instead, it adds the perjury element, that extra layer of deviation and mischief, to make the player's lies as detectable as any other crime. The battle between truths and lies distorts, and it becomes all the more dangerous when someone's life is on the line. Killing Harmony strives to preserve its tenuous and unstable environment, even as the truth comes out, and it's that constant lack of assurance that sets it apart from its already stellar predecessors. Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony made me question my own honesty. It wrapped me in a web of lies, lies that I constructed. Was I on the wrong side? Maybe. But then again, can we handle the truth?